let's look at limits that exist. Let's consider this first question. If the upper arm and lower arm of this function are equal, then we say the limit function exists. The upper arm of the function is known as left hand limit, while the lower arm of the function is known as right hand limit. This is the condition guiding the upper arm, which is the left hand side. And this is the condition guiding the lower arm, which is the right hand side. The right hand side, that is the lower arm, states that there was a function that the limit as x tends to 1 gave us 2. However, we were not given the function. And for the upper arm, which is the left hand limit, plug in x equal to 1. And we got undefined. To avoid this, that's why the condition says x must not be equal to 1. Next, step number 2. Apply Lee Hopital rule. Lee Hopital rule states that you should use any relevant mathematical strategy or application to remove the point of discontinuity from a function. And when you do this, you are going to get a hole after getting the result, which we are going to see shortly using a graph. Here, we are going to apply difference of two squares, which states that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b in bracket a plus b in bracket. Applying difference of two squares, this will take away this. Remember that 1 squared is the same thing as 1, which we have applied here. And we are left with x plus 1. Next, you are going to take the limit of the function as x tends to 1. And we got 2. We solved the upper arm, which is the left hand limit, and we got 2. Likewise, the lower arm, which is the right hand limit, has 2. This means that this limit exist. We can apply another method by using differentiation. By using Lee Hopital rule, we are going to differentiate each of these variable independently. Never think of quotient rule here. It doesn't apply. Differentiate x squared and you will get 2x. Next, differentiate 1 and you get 0. Next, differentiate x and you get 1. Next, differentiate 1 and you get 0. You are left with 2x. Next, take the limit of this remaining function as x tends to 1. And 2 times 1, you got 2, which is the same as we obtained before. Next, to solve this problem, we are going to apply difference of cube formula. This is difference of cube formula. I can decide to put 3 here. It's the same as 1. Applying this formula, this will take away this. Next, you take the limit of the remaining function as x tends to 1 and we got 3. And this answer is for the left hand limit. However, the right hand limit also gave us 3. We can say this limit exists. If you apply differentiation, you are going to get the same answer. Next, consider this question. We can split the left hand limit and the right hand limit showing their direction of approach towards 2, which is this. The negative here indicates the direction of approach from the left, like this, towards 2, while the positive indicates the direction of approach from the right towards 2 when seen on the number line. From the left hand side, 
if you substitute two into the limit you're going to get four likewise from the right hand side if you substitute two you're going to get four the left hand limit and the right hand limit are equal hence we say that this limit exists subsequently if you decide to draw up a table to determine this limit numerically the first step is on the number line locate 2 next locate the middle of the table and write 2 next go a bit off from 2 towards the right and you will generate this values next go a bit off 2 towards the left and you will generate these values next substitute all the values on the right hand side into you're going to get an f of x next substitute each of these values to the left hand limit and you're going to generate each of these f of x you can see from the table as you approach 2 from the left you are tending towards 4 likewise as you approach 2 from the right you are tending towards 4 that's why we concluded that the limit is 4 which exists which is same as we tested earlier next consider this question in this problem if you plug in x equal to minus 4 you will get 0 over 0 hence we apply Lee Hopital rule by applying difference of two squares and you can see that this will take away this and you are left with 4 minus x and taking the limit as s tends to minus 4 and your answer is 8 but let's be sure if this limit actually exists let's approach minus 4 from the left and equally approach minus 4 from the right the minus at the top and the plus at this top of minus 4 is just an indication of the direction of approach the first step let's locate minus 4 on the number line next locate the middle of the table and write minus 4 next take some values a bit of minus 4 to the right and a bit of minus 4 to the left and to the left of minus 4 you're going to generate these values likewise to the right of minus 4 you're going to generate these values which are your personal choosing intervals to indicate the direction of approach from the left towards minus 4 i will put a minus here and to indicate the direction of approach towards minus 4 from the right i'm going to put a plus on top of the minus 4 the sign got no effect on this negative it just indicates direction of approach this is called one-sided limit and this is also one-sided limit next substitute each of these with the exception of minus 4 into the given function and you will end up generating each values of this f of x but at x equal to minus 4 this function will become undefined despite being undefined at x equal to minus 4 as we approach minus 4 from the left and we approach minus 4 from the right you can see that it's tending towards 8 and here our answer is 8 and this hole we just removed is called removable discontinuity because at exactly the point of minus 4 the function would have ceased to exist however after applying the Hopital rule or 
drawing up a table like this we obtained an answer which is same as when we applied difference of two squares and when you draw the graph of this function by using the numerical values from the table you will obtain a straight line however you can observe a hole this hole was due to the removable discontinuity and as we approach the limit from the left we got 8 likewise as we approach the limit from the right we equally got 8 as x tends to minus 4 next consider this question if you plug in x equal to 2 into this function you are going to get 4 here we got no restriction there is nothing to remove subsequently if you approach this limit from the left and approach this limit from the right this approach towards 2 from the left and from the right is tending towards 4 and using the numerical data we obtained this graph without a hole because the plugging in gave us an answer directly without we applying Le Hopital rule and since we got the same answer from the left and from the right we say that this limit exists next let's consider this question as this limit approach from the left we are going to put a negative here it's going to approach this limit from the left where the hole is equal to 1. Hence, our answer here is 1. Next, we are going to approach this limit from the right. Hence, I will put a plus here. As we approach the limit from the right, we are still going to encounter the same point which is 1. Hence, our answer to this limit is 1. The limit approach from the left is 1 and the limit approach from the right is 1. Hence, from the graph, this limit exists. Hence, we say, as the limit tends to 0, f of s exists. Check out for the complete video on limit function by graphical method where different graphs were analyzed in detail in the part 2 video we are going to look at limits that does not exist such as this and this and this and many more problems examples and illustrations make sure you check out other videos in pre-calculus and to locate all these videos you can follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video